Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted in about a month because um, I'm in New Jersey right now. My All of my prenatal care is here, so we decided that I would give birth here. Um, so Colin, my fiance and I are living with my parents for two or three months. So yeah, a lot's been happening. We've just been really busy the past couple weeks. So that's my little update for you guys. Um, today, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I packed in my hospital bag. I still have a few more things that I need to add to it that just haven't like come in yet, but it's done for the most part. So I'm currently 30, almost 35 weeks pregnant. So only five weeks to go feels crazy to me it's going by so fast so i'm going to start with just what's on top in my bag um, which is all of my toiletries i packed three different toiletry bags um, this clear one is just my shampoo conditioner which i have to actually i haven't filled the bottles yet so i need to do that but shampoo conditioner a body wash a face wash and a razor i'm really picky about the stuff that I use on my hair so that's why I got the travel sized like refillable bottles but yeah this is for if I if and most likely when I want to take a shower in the hospital in this bigger toiletry bag we have pretty much all of my other bathroom necessities I have a hairbrush a little deodorant some q-tips because I have an unhealthy obsession with cleaning my ears. I need to clean them all the time. It's actually kind of gross. I have some makeup wipes, a moisturizer slash lotion. I think you can use this on your face and your body. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, moisturizer. And then just a travel size mouthwash, toothpaste, and toothbrush i wanted to make sure i was like as prepared as possible so i could be very comfortable in the hospital because i don't know how long i'm gonna stay there hopefully just overnight but you never know i wanted to make sure i had all of my necessities with me so that's all i have for like bathroom stuff but then i also have this tiny little toiletry bag for some makeup because i was just thinking um like what if i want to take pictures in the hospital i don't know i always feel better about myself when i am looking a little put together so i packed a few makeup things the first thing in here is this cream blush and lip stain um all of these can be applied with like my fingers so i don't have to bring any tools or anything but I have a cream blush i have my glossier stretch concealer this is pretty much the only thing that i really need to bring because I get so red around my nose and my mouth and my dark circles are like out of this world. So I would, I'm definitely gonna be applying this either right before, or right after or both when I give birth because I wanna look nice when Colin's taking pictures of me. Um, then I just have a travel size mascara and some lip balm. And the last thing in here isn't makeup, but it is my Hatch Mama nipple and lip treatment moving on i'm now going to show you what i packed for the baby so i didn't pack her too much stuff i feel like my hospital bag is very minimal some of the other videos i've seen people put so much in their bags and i have like nothing in here so if there's anything i'm missing that's crucial feel free to let me know in the comments but for her going home outfit it is this little like kimono shirt and pants set it has little tiny teddy bears and trees on it i think it's so cute so this is i don't know this is just like i guess her going home outfit and it also has a matching hat that probably it looks a little big i don't know if this will fit her but it's a newborn size so this is her going home outfit i also packed her um, a pair of socks i also packed her a swaddle um this one was a gift from my it was on my registry and my best friend's mom got it for me so thank you mrs alko but it's this swaddle it's adorable like mint green color with little flowers i love it and then 
the last thing I packed for the baby is this cover that my best friend's mom also got me. It's like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's a multi-use cover. You can use it as like a cover for the car seat um, to protect them from the sun, or you can use it as a nursing cover. I just figured that I might as well pack it. I don't know. It's gonna be really hot outside when I give birth. So I figured that we might as well bring it. That's all I packed for the baby. Um, now for myself, the only thing I have in my bag so far are my flip-flops because if I'm gonna be showering in the hospital, I don't wanna touch the hospital floor. So I have my flip-flops. And then I also threw in this like loungewear set. It's dark blue. It's just a long sleeve nursing shirt and pants. I ordered some more maternity loungewear from Shein that hasn't come in yet. So in terms of like my going home outfit, what I'm going to be leaving the hospital in or like any other comfy PJs I want to bring, uh, I'm going to wait for that order to come in first and then reconsider what I'm packing. But yeah, my mom gave me this. It's super soft. So it would be a good choice for the hospital. I haven't washed any of these clothes yet. The baby's clothes are mine. So I'm obviously going to do that before, before it's too late. I also packed myself a scrunchie because I imagine I'm going to want to put my hair up at some point and a pair of socks. I live in socks. I'm never not wearing socks. I don't feel comfortable not wearing socks inside. I mean, outside it doesn't matter. So I have to have a pair of socks. So that's it. That's all I have in my hospital bag. Um, I'm not packing any diapers or anything because they'll have them at the hospital and I actually might pack some nursing pads. I also need to pack my nursing bra. I ordered, my mom ordered me some nursing bras from Bye Bye Baby. They just haven't come in yet, so those will also be going in here once they come in. But other than that, that's all I have in my hospital bag. <laughs> Let me show you guys my bump. <laughs> this is the size of my stomach right now, 35 weeks. I can't tell if like, my stomach is bigger than average or smaller than average or what, but here I am, eight months pregnant. I have a really hard time finding cute maternity clothes that are like good quality and also not that expensive because maternity clothes are so expensive for some reason. So what I've been doing more often is just buying like mediums and larges in non-maternity clothes or buying like smalls and like dresses and stuff that are just like stretchy material. It feels so surreal. The baby's gonna be here so soon. I'm so excited and I haven't been nervous about my pregnancy or I haven't been nervous about becoming a mom like the entirety of my pregnancy um, until now. I'm starting to get a little nervous. I don't know why. It's just like hitting me more now, I guess. One of our really, really close family friends just had a baby so I got to spend some time with her and hold her and it's just crazy to me how much newborns change, like how different they look every single day. Like they grow so fast, it's kind of scary. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I apologize for my absence. I'm really trying to make YouTube a more regular thing for me now just because I really enjoy it. Um, so hopefully I will be uploading more consistently from now on as much as I can. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like, consider subscribing and let me know what else you guys want to see. We have five weeks left, hopefully until the baby's here. So as, I'm going to try to get as much content out as I can before I'm completely swamped. So yeah, bye guys. <laughs>